What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Sports Network and today we're going to be talking about, well we already had a video today earlier about the Jarvis Landry trade situation but we have another trade. There was a trade and the Miami Dolphins acquired Robert Quinn from the Los Angeles Rams. Still sounds weird to say Los Angeles Rams. I believe they acquired him from the Los Angeles Rams for an exchange of six round picks as well as a fourth rounder. We don't know if it's the early one uh, which is the Dolphins pick or the late one which is the Eagles pick that we got in the JGI trade. Now I saw a lot of it on Twitter. Not a lot of people were asking me my opinion, which was kind of interesting. But, you know, follow me on Twitter because I talked about it immediately there. I talked about what I thought about the trade there on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter so you get the, all those updates uh, from me. But I talked about it on Twitter, and I'm going to talk about it now. I think it was a good trade for the Miami Dolphins. I think that they – they for to get Robert Quinn – who had, you know, he's been having a couple down years, but you have to remember, they switched to a 3-4 scheme under Wade Phillips, so all of that happening uh, meant that he was having to transfer more to an outside linebacker, and he's been a defensive end his entire life. Uh, he is a Pro Bowl caliber player. He is only at 27. Now, two years and $22 million. It's $11 million a year, just about, because uh, uh, some bonuses and other stuff, you never know. So it could be 10 and a half, it could be 11 and a half. You know, it's varying things. But with all that considered, to only give up a fourth round pick uh, and to do a swap of six. We've had trades with the Rams before, uh, and this one went successful. The Dolphins definitely won this trade. Uh, if he can continue to produce and kind of maybe do the same that we saw from William Hayes um, last year, then it's basically a win. William Hayes was another guy who the Dolphins traded for, and people were like, oh, another guy that's you know going on his down year. And he came here, and he had a very good year. Before he got injured, he was one of our best run stoppers. He was doing very well in the pass rush. So if he can kind of reclaim that, that's going to be a very nice defensive line. And then after this year, if Andre Branch uh, continues to not perform, although he was under an injury last year, uh, then they can move on from him. And the 2019 class for defensive linemen is pretty much stacked. So that is huge because then you can get that. You'll have Robert Quinn. Most likely you're bringing back William Hayes, Charles Harris, maybe uh, Cam Make might retire by then. So you could start to actually get a really nice defensive line core. Uh, so this trade, I think, is very nice, and the Dolphins did win it. Uh, I think they'll probably try to agree. There's no guaranteed money left, but I think they'll probably try to agree to a restructured contract uh, before the new fiscal year starts on March 14th, uh, when all trades become official. Uh, but I think it's very interesting. I think that this also definitely means that Jarvis Landry will probably be traded very soon. Uh, I know that a lot of people think, you know, that might take a couple weeks, maybe a little bit to the draft. I think that this is going to be done before March 14th. If I had to give you a date, I think that he'll be traded by next Wednesday. I think he'll be gone. Uh, I think he signs the franchise tender Monday, in my personal opinion. That's what I think he's going to do on March 5th. And I think March 7th, he is no longer a Dolphin. I think they're trying to move this along as quickly as they can to free that $16 million up. And I think they will definitely find a trade partner for him. So, I think things are going to start moving very quickly for Dolphins camp. I think contracts will start getting restructured very soon. Uh, we only have 12 days until free agency starts, and the Dolphins need cap room. They need guards. Uh, they need people to come in. I think they'll try to acquire another low-end defensive end uh, if they don't re-sign William Hayes during the offseason. So this is going to be very good. Dolphins fans, do not worry. I think that this is a very good trade for the Dolphins. They definitely won the trade uh, as of right now. He has tremendous upside moving back to a 4-3 scheme. Playing defensive lineman, him rotating out with Ken Wade, Charles Harris, Andre Branch. I think it is a very, very nice and solid trade for the Dolphins. Couldn't have asked for a better trade. Uh, couldn't have asked for the fact that, you know, the lighting and everything for my camera, bam, just to do the autofocus. Works perfectly. I'm super excited, super happy. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I turn 20 on Monday. So we didn't hit that 1,000 subscribers that I was hoping for when we started the new year. But uh, I did a couple things that I really liked. Getting the new camera is nice. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting a new monitor to replace the one in the middle. And then I might get a new monitor to replace the one on the left very soon. So uh, it could be very nice. Uh, but yeah, there will be videos tomorrow and there will be videos on Sunday. Uh, and then I might post a video Monday. I might not. If I do, it might be... Uh, a birthday stream or a birthday Dolphins podcast type thing where I just act like a fool or something like that. Or it could be a return of something. You never know. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to update you guys on this. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. And as always, peace.